here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. First, however, let me remind you of something. Today is the first official day of spring, but don't let that calendar fool you. There's still lots of changeable weather left yet. Now, changeable weather is a common cause of colds and coughs, especially at this time of year when our resistance has been lowered by the long winter months. Well, to help ward off these spring colds, you need the good nourishment of Horlicks malted milk. Horlicks helps build up your resistance, strengthens and nourishes you. That's because it's such a wonderful source of vitamins and bodybuilding elements. For the next few weeks, you can't do anything better for that family of yours than to let them drink plenty of Horlicks malted milk. They'll love it, too. It's so delicious and invigorating. So start right away. Get a package tonight from your druggist in either natural or chocolate flavor. Keep a package on hand in your home, ready for every emergency. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, Squire Skimp is having his troubles trying to get Lum and Abner's circus all ready for the grand opening next Saturday. In order to cut down expenses, he's been trying to persuade Lum to take over the job of putting the elephants through their tricks. And he has Abner picked out to train the lions and the tigers. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Squire over in the tent that's to be used for the sideshow, just off the big top. Lum is just entering. Listen. Well, come in, Lum, come in. Howdy, Squire. Well, I've been hoping that you'd come over, Lum. I, I wanted to talk to you, find out uh, what you decide to do about that job of taking George of the elephant. Well, I don't hardly know, Squire. I've been sort of turning it over my head ever since yesterday evening. Mm-hmm. That part about being called king and setting up there on top of that elephant in the parade with a big crown on my head and having them slaves span me sounds awful good. Oh, yes, yes, Lum. It's a great honor to hold that job. You know, why? Uh, you'd be about uh, the most looked up to man in the circus. But on the other hand, that trick they do there where one of them picks me up in his trunk and weighs me around over his head three or four times and then lays me down on the ground and then he lays down on top of me, that, that don't sound so good. Oh, well, now, that ain't nothing, Lum. Why, I wouldn't worry about that a minute. Well, naturally, you wouldn't worry about it, as long as it's me the elephant's laying down on. Well, uh, what I mean, old Lum, uh, there ain't no cause for you to worry, neither. Why, them elephants is trained, Lum. They, they don't hurt you none when they lay down on you that way. Now, listen, Squire, any time something as big as an elephant lays down on you, it's going to hurt where he's trained or not. Yes, but now, Lum, uh, they don't let all their weight down on you, you know. It looks like it to the folks that's watching the show, but uh, they're trained, you know, to leave enough room underneath there to where it don't match, you know. Yeah, I know they're supposed to, but they're awful sleepy-looking critters. Be about my luck to get out there someday when they're tired, and about the time I got down under him there, he'd decide to just stretch out and take a little nap. Well, of course, Lum, if you're afraid to do it, why... There ain't no use for me to try to talk you into it. No, I don't believe there is either. But you ought to make up your mind, because now if you ain't going to work the elephants, why, you better be practicing on a high trapeze act. I want to have this circus all ready to open for Saturday, you know. You mean if I don't take charge of the elephants, you still want me to work on that high trapeze, huh? Well, it, it looks like you'll have to, Lum. That's about the only job left, and... Uh, I want you to have some part in the circus. Uh, how, how would it be if we just left out that trick about the elephant laying down on me? I believe I could talk myself into doing the rest of them things. Oh, no, no, now, Lum, we couldn't think about it. No, well, that'll be one of the best things in the show. And a circus wouldn't be a circus, you know, unless they had the elephant lay down on somebody. And they just got to do that. Oh, yes, yes. I reckon who it was that ever got such ideas in their head to start with. Well, I don't know. They've been doing it ever since the first circus I ever saw. That's always one of their main tricks, you know. They don't reckon we could dig a sort of a little trench in the ground so I could lay down in that while the elephant's laying down on me. Well, I'm afraid, old Lum, the audience could tell that you wasn't taking no chance that way. You see, if there ain't no danger there, why, the audience wouldn't be interested at all. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Reckon what it is about folks that wants to see somebody risk their lives that way. Looks like they ain't satisfied to have somebody dressed up like a king riding an elephant around. They've got to have the elephant laying down on top of him. Yeah, yeah. Like that trapeze. I wouldn't mind cutting up all sorts of kadidos if they'd let me have the trapeze down close to the ground, but they ain't satisfied with that. They want me to go clean up there in the top of the tent to do it. 
So if I fall out, I break my neck, I reckon. Well, you know, Lum, that's the thrill they get out of coming to the circus, you know, is watching six of it. I, I can sort of understand how they'd enjoy seeing some folks take them chances. Somebody they got a grudge again. Somebody they'd love to see get hurt anyway. But just an out-and-out stranger to sit up there and hope he falls and hurts himself, I granted I just can't understand it. No, no. Well, that's the circus business for you, Lum. That's the circus business. Yeah. Me and Abner order stayed in the store business. Well, it's too late now, Lum. I've already invested $50 for you this morning. $50? Yeah. Squire, you ain't bought no more animals for us to feed, have you? No, 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 Lum, but I bought something else here. It's just as important to a circus as the animals are. Uh, come over here. I want to show it to you. Oh, that thing. Uh, yeah, I seen that thing sitting there when I come in a while ago. I wondered what that was. Yeah, well, we just had to have one of these for the parade, Lum. We yeah. have. Yeah. Well, what is it? Well, it's what you'd call a steam calliope, but uh, it ain't run by steam like most of them. All you've got to do to this one is just turn this crank here sort of like a grind organ. Well, I do. Uh, here, wait a minute. I'll show you how it works. Here. Yeah. See, just turn the crank here on the side. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Granny, that's all right, you know. Oh, yes, yes. It sure sounds like a circus, all right. Oh, yes. Well, it, it, it just ain't a circus without one of them. Yeah, Lord. Teddy Long standing here listening to that thing. It, it brings back old memories to me to hear one of them plays. Sure does. Ain't that pretty? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I do love them. I do. Sure yeah, hey, I'd love to have the job of turning the crank on that thing. <laughs> now, there's something I don't believe there's any danger in. Oh, no. Well, uh, the only thing, Lum, I promised Abner that he could look after the plane of the Calliope this morning. Abner? Yeah. Well, for goodness sake, you might have known he'd get all the easy jobs. Things ain't no danger to. Well, now, I wouldn't say that now, Lum. Now, he's got one job it ain't going to be so easy, being the line trainer. I, I can't hear you, Squire. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait a minute, I'll uh, turn this thing off here. Yeah, I'll quit there. <clears throat> well, I'd love to play that a little more. I could listen to him all day. <laughs> you say Abner's going to be the line trainer? Yes, yes. He's going to train the line, Lum. Go right in there and then do the line. I don't believe you'll ever talk him into doing that, Squire. I can tell you that right now. I just don't believe he can. I could tell that just evening when I was trying to talk him into it myself. Why, that's all settled, Lum. He come down here this morning and told me that he decided to take charge of them. You mean that Abner's going right in the cage with them lions and tigers? That's what he said. Uh, him and Cedric's been back there all morning. I, I guess that Abner is uh, staying around them all he can, you know, so as to get them used to him. Uh, Granny, let's go back there, Squire. I'd sort of love to talk to Abner a little before he goes in the cage with them animals. I um, feared I might have had some bearing on him making up his mind to do it. Might have hagged him into it. Well, yes, I suppose that you helped talk him into it all right, Lum, but he seemed very well pleased with the idea this morning. Uh, don't know where he ought to do that or not, Squire. It's awful dangerous business. Well, now, here now, Lum, don't you come back here and try to talk him out of it, just that I've got it all settled now. Yeah, but I don't want to see Abner get hurt, neither. Where about is he? Uh, there he is, back there, him and Cedric, yeah. back there at the tent. Well, I'm glad he's on the outside of the cage. Well, howdy, man. Come on back. I've got these lines here just as tame as house. Can. I wouldn't get too close to that cage there, Abner. Too close to it? I'm going to get in it. No, you ain't <laughs> neither. No, sir. You stay out of there. Oh, there ain't nothing to this uh, training lines, Lum, mm -hmm. after a fella catch it on the house dead. Well, now, Abner, you better think twice before you go in there. Recollect, you've got a family dependence on you. There's Elizabeth and Pearl. You've got to think about them. Oh, well, I ain't going to get hurt. No, Mr. Abner ain't going to get hurt. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. we got that all fixed. <laughs> Well, Abner, I I'm glad to see you with so much confidence. You seem to have more confidence than most fellas I know that's been training cats for years. And that's what it takes, too. Don't ever let them think that you're afraid of them. My granny just, just scares me to stand around here hearing them hollering that way. <laughs> no, I ain't a bit of scared of them. Well, it's all right, Mr. Abner, if you're ready to go in there now. Oh. Well, I believe I'll just step inside here and see what old Neil thinks of me. <laughs> well, he don't think very much of you. I can tell you that the way he's looking there. He's just watching you like a hawk. Yeah, I believe he's throwing his feet back on him, Abner, like he might spray. Yeah, him. come back out of there, Abner, before you get yourself hurt. I know, because I'm right in here with him, ain't I? Abner, you <laughs> idiot, get out of there. Now, let him go now, Lum. We've got to have somebody to put these lions and tigers through the tricks, you know. Abner, if you don't get out of there now, I'm coming in there after, uh, uh, get out of there now. That lion's liable to jump right on you and tear you to pieces any no, minute. No, he ain't. No, he can't get to me, Lom. Well, I don't know what's to keep him from it. All he's got to do is just jump on you there. 
Well, you see, Mr. Lum, we've got a plate glass partition in there between him and the lion. Oh, Cedric, what did you tell him for? Got a glass what? Yeah, come here and I'll show you, Lum. <laughs> you see there, that glass partition goes clean across there. Body can't see it unless it gets right up here close to the cage and looks good. I know it ain't got a slick sun. <laughs> well, for the great I am. Well, Amber, that's one of the neatest picks that I ever saw in the circus oh, business. <laughs> <one ever. laughs> that ain't the business. Now, if I could figure out something like that on that elephant deal, I grannies, we'd have this thing all settled. Well, sir, I just had this idea last night. Told so me and Cedric come over here right early this morning and Taking the measurements of the cage and went into the county seat and bought a piece of glass for her. Well, a feller would never would know it was there unless he got right up to the cage this way. Yeah, well, we can handle that all right, Mom. Uh, see, when Abner gets in the cage to uh, put the cats through their tricks, you know, uh, the cage will be clear out in the middle of the tent there. There won't be anybody in 50 feet. Look out, Mr. Abner. Better not get too close to the glass there. He might jump well, out. Look out there, Abner. He's switching yeah, his tail. Abner, look out, look out, look out. Well, if they get Abner out of that cage this time, we bet they'll never get him back in there again. And now, in the minute that we have left, I want to tell you the results of a recent test of the Horlick weight control plan. This plan, as you probably know, consists of substituting a glass full of Horlick's malted milk in place of your regular luncheon. Well, here's what the test showed. In a period of only three weeks, most of the 50 overweight women who tried the plan lost an average of 3 pounds 10 ounces each. All they did was to drink a good glass of Horlicks daily for lunch. They found that the plan had no ill effects on their health. A lot of them even said their health had improved. They felt none of the weakening after effects, they said, that most reducing plans leave. Now that's a good point to remember. The Horlick plan is effective, but safe. You'll find that out for yourself when you try it. Just follow these simple directions. Every noon, drink Horlicks in place of the lunch that you're now having. Then, if desired at the fatigue period in mid-afternoon, take another energy-giving glass or dissolve a few Horlicks tablets in your mouth. That's all there is to this popular weight control plan. But, folks, you've got to be sure that it's Horlicks. This is Carlton Bricker, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all good night and... Good health.